Hello World Doll Day friends, this is Michael Canadas with the Grovian Doll Museum and Carmel Doll Shop. We are uh, with Cheryl Williams and um, at this point I think you should probably have already watched our other video, but we've added a bonus feature uh, to this kit. So when our girl was sitting in her sled, David said to me, she's not sitting in the seat properly. And I said to David, that's because she has her bustle on her enhancer. Right. Her so enhancer. we are going to um, create a bustle enhancer uh, today. And this is kind of an elusive thing that's not often taught, is it? Right, that is true. And it, <clears throat> the bustle is all boned. It is adjustable. So if you see with her dress here, she needs the support coming off here. So and that's a heavy that, dress. It's a very heavy dress, and that keeps all of this out in place. And it's adjustable, so you can make it stick out more or stick out less. So we're going to have fun showing you how to do that. It's fairly simple, but Effective. clever. Mm -hmm. Very clever. Make, uh, beats tissue paper. It does. Up. So <laughs> we're going to get with making this little bonus featured item, the um, uh, bustle or enhancer or whatever you mm -hmm. like to call it. All right, we'll be okay. back. Get ready to sew. So we're gonna be making this really versatile cage bustle, a short one, not a full length one. And let me just show you here. The side panels are organdy trim with lace. And then we have hook eyes in here that thread ribbon through it so that we can make it stick out a whole bunch. We can get a lot of different areas make, from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, make it rather flat. So, but for the dress that we're doing with Through the Woods, we needed this because that dress was designed with a large um, bustle in the back. So this will hold it out. Well, it depends on how much you want to tighten it, but it's very versatile is what you can do. So it's only made with organdy and bias tape, single fold, a little lace, and some nice boning. Okay. Well, it looks like it's incredibly complicated. <laughs> but it's not. Okay. It's very, very simple. So we start out with our pattern on our organdy, and we cut it out, and let me show you. Then we're going to stitch an eighth inch here. This is not cut on the fold and the top is open. So we're gonna stitch down. And that's an eighth. And that's an eighth inch seam. On camera it looks bigger, but. Does it? Okay. Yeah, in life only... it looks, yeah. Okay, well it's only an eighth. They're supposed to be only an eighth. Then we're gonna clip in this curve so it will turn nicely. So here is our seam turned and pressed. Okay. And the nice thing about organdy, it's nice and stiff, um, but strong. Very okay. strong. Then we take it and we're going to sew a boning casing down here. And if we look on our on our sample here, it's right here that we're sewing. Okay. So we're going top to bottom there. Then we're going to insert. And that would be facing the back, of course. Right. Then we're going to insert our boning. Can you show us the boning before you put it in? Yeah. Let's it's see. it's very narrow and very Smooth. flexible, okay. but it will hold like that, what, what you need to hold very nicely. But I love the narrow size of it and the fact that it's all smoothed, it's not ridged. So then we're gonna have measured and we're going to insert it in that casing. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're going to take it all the way to the bottom, but we don't want it at the top, we want to leave a quarter of an inch here unsewn. Not unsewn, unboned, I'm sorry. So then we'll just baste across here to hold it in place. Then we're going to take, and there are two, um, we're going to take bias tape and we're going to wrap it over the top and stitch it. And so then you have a place in the middle that measures one and a half inches with no 
with no stitching there. And you leave that open. I, you leave that open. And then this actually now can get bound closed. But I did that, you can do it by machine, but I'm more comfortable by hand doing that. So that will be where our ribbon is going to run through that ties the bustle around her, around her waist. So this is the back. So Which like ties this. in front. Which ties in, right, which ties in the front. You're right. Next we're going to, and this is a partially finished one, which is why I've got things hanging out here. Um, if I can get it undone. We're going to take our lace and we're going to apply it around the edge and we're just gonna whip it on all the way around. And then that when that's attached, you just bring it forward and there's your, a little bit of a finish for that. And that's a good, that's a really good choice, Cheryl. For yeah. This is very isn't... commercial. Right, right, yeah. So that's that part. So let's stop and let me go to the next part. Okay, we'll be back. So we have a nice narrow boning that we're gonna use in this bustle. So we're gonna take single fold bias tape we're going to fold it in half, and then we're going to stitch it right on the edge. The very edge. The very, very edge. I mean, the boning is small, but we have to make sure that we can still get it in here. So. Now, uh, Cheryl, you're using very small stitches, aren't you? I'm using about two and a quarter on my stitch length. Um, and it doesn't have to be that, but well, we don't want it popping out. So well, we stuff. don't. Right. So, so what, do you, what do you think about 10 stitches per inch? Mm, yeah, probably. Okay. Yes. Those I think of us so. that don't have the computerized. This is not a computerized machine. <laughs> well, compared to mine, it uh, is. Well, true. Yes, that's true. Okay, so we're just going to run up the whole, the whole piece here. So let me show you what it looks like. When it's done. So we're stitching really close to the edge here. Yeah, Hopefully catching that. both sides, which I did. Um, you know, the bias tape is pretty easy to work with. That's and then good. that you did a nice job. And it's then, not easy to do. And then we're gonna come over and I'm gonna show you putting the boning okay. inside. All right. So, we're going to measure, and I've got all of this listed here. We need six inches of boning for number one, number, number two, which is the lower one. We need five and three quarter for the next one, and we need four and a half. We're not gonna do this one. We're only gonna do the one down the back. So because if that we did that again. one, that would be very defined style. It would, and so it would want, not allow as much flexibility Yeah, we want to flexibility. It. So this is number Because she's two. only getting one of these. <laughs> That's all she needs. That's right. Unless you have multiple ladies that mm -hmm. need this, mm -hmm. so. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to thread the boning down through our, um, down through our casing. So you see, it just fits. I mean, the boning looks like this. And it's smooth, goes in it's, pretty smooth. It's very it? smooth and probably would have been even easier if I'd given it a little slant on the end so that it feeds in easier because obviously the start is the hardest thing. So we'll just cut each of our, our pieces to the length. And that's on the pattern. That's on the pattern. And then we'll start installing it. So we're going to take our, because this is our fold, we're going to have to clip into this to set this inside. Okay. Remember, this is our boning that's going down through right. here. So this has got to sit behind it. And, oh, I didn't do that. I, I actually just laid it on and stitched it here. So is that, so, that's what they should do? Yes, that's what they should yeah. do. Okay. I should have turned over first before I said anything. Then well, we'll you're, this this one you're still you're still f tweaking it. Yes. So I mean, this is a bonus piece. Yes. So then here's our going to be where I've marked where it ends here. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to 
clip right here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna back off the bias tape and Press turn it under mm -hmm. and then whip it down and be really serious about whipping it down. It's not just a tack. It really needs to be stitched yeah. down yeah. firmly. Then we'll do Because it's gotta have some torque, doesn't right. it? Right. And then we do the next Tension, one. Tension, I guess would be yes. better. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, or torque. Or torque, yes, whichever. So this will be number two. And you'll do the same thing where you're just gonna, each time you're gonna be clipping it about, you're a quarter here, so another quarter, and then back off the boning by a quarter okay. so that we've got fabric to go behind it. And then the last one we do is gonna be from here down to here. And I did it actually underneath, not over, so we wouldn't see the stitches at the end. So it's gonna go like that. And there's the shape. And there's your shape, like All that. Right. Shall we sew it up and come back and show it? Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're back. All right. So. <laughs> So now we have all of our boning in place here. And if you notice, I did tack the second one here with the one that runs down the back, so it, it's in place. Then we're gonna thread, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna pull that out, but you're gonna take a large-eyed needle, thread your ribbon through it, and the upper edge, of course, is your casing. So you'll go all the way around Pull your thread, your ribbon out both sides, and this ties in the front on the doll. We have <clears throat> one more place, our other adjustment place is back here. And you're gonna take the eyes, which I have thousands of because I never use them, and- but You've got good use for them now. I've got a great use for them now, because <laughs> it makes a great thing to lace through. So I've got an eye here, here, here and here, so basically it's the beginning of the bottom row and the next row up. And then you just take your ribbon, throw Wind it, wind it through, through, and tie it. And, and could you then, pull that tight so they can see how you can change yes. the shape? Because you know bustle yeah. comes and goes. Yep. And it and it changes slight, slightly as so time. So this is the one about the size that I used on her. If we pull this closer. You have a much more exaggerated mm -hmm. silhouette. And if I'd untie it. More of the 1870s. Yeah. Then you would end up like this. So a much softer mm -hmm. bustle. So it's quite versatile and very easy because you just adjust it by the amount of pull you pull on those eyes. So that's it. We and it's a fun finished. thing that you could probably make on a nice winter afternoon. Yes, and, exactly. And be ready to go. and, and um, they could expand this with a, adding more to the bottom and making... Right, you'd have to expand your sides here mm -hmm. and then just keep, I would keep increasing all of your rows going down. Okay. And then I'd also put ruffles. Do you want to show the antique one? Sure, if you'll, if you'll hold it up. I will. So this is a... It needs to be ironed, but yes. uh, when well, it's ironed, we didn't, it's, we didn't do that. It, You'll have I to just happened to be cleaning out a closet today, <laughs> and, and came on to this beauty. So here we—it's basically the same concept. It is a similar concept. Here's the waistband, and here's the waistband up here, which is going same to be concept. A, same concept. We'll tie around here and tie, and then I'm going to flip it over. You'll see that the ties inside, again, make it really exaggerated or, or make loosen it, it up. much less. But look at all of and this. Then, this is what I call, do you call this a mermaid bustle? Or a fishtail, I or guess. Or a fishtail. Mm -hmm. Or a mermaid. Or a mermaid. This, then, you start adding ruffles of organdy onto this all the way down. So it's not just the bones that we're seeing here but we're adding some fluff and softness all the way down. And this one goes a very long way. Oh yes. This is really trained dress, just gorgeous. So thanks for sharing that, Michael. It was a well, good find this afternoon. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, now I've got to go clean up the closet right. like that. Well, thank you, Cheryl, for this uh, wonderful program. And I think that um, this will be a lot of fun for 
for people to make for their for their costume or to use with other costumes. Yes. Okay, All right. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. See you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.